Hi, I'm Philip Porada from Stockholm University in Sweden. My co-authors and I published a paper last week where we showed that 415 million years ago in the Ordovician period, early forms of lichens and mosses may have caused an interval of glaciations. So these Ordovician glaciations are puzzling because they took place at a time where atmospheric CO2 concentration was around eight times higher than today. So there must have been a new process in the Earth system uh, that removed large amounts of CO2 from the atmosphere and therefore caused the cooling. One candidate for such a process is chemical weathering of surface rocks. So how does that work? Uh, atmospheric CO2 gets dissolved in soil water and forms carbonic acid which dissolutes rocks uh, into clay minerals which remain in the soil and ions which are transported into the ocean. And among these ions is carbonate ion uh, which contains the CO2 from the atmosphere and is deposited as carbonate rock on the seafloor. So this is a net removal of CO2 from the atmosphere. But uh, why should chemical weathering have increased in the Ordovician? Um, well, it has been shown that lichens and mosses excrete various organic acids and these acids uh, accelerate a lot uh, the weathering of the surface rocks. So when these organisms became uh, globally abundant in the Ordovician period, they may have increased chemical weathering to an extent that uh, was sufficient for global cooling. Uh, so what we did was we uh, simulated the growth of lichens and mosses in a computer model uh, for the Ordovician and we found uh, that they indeed had a very uh, strong potential to enhance weathering of surface rocks and therefore may have caused the interval of glaciations at the end of the Ordovician period.